just left Wentworth Woodhouse Estate. Now we're working his way down to Wentworth Village. Yeah. Um, there's a lovely couple of churches down here to see and a beautiful war memorial. Um, at the back of me, his home farm, which is the farmer here that went with Woodhouse. At the far end of the farm, we've got Wentworth Garden Centre. Uh, it's well worth a visit, is, yeah. especially around the festive period. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great garden centre. It might be a bit pricey at times, but uh, nice to go to a nice coffee shop and, and things. And there's a pet area in there. And I look at playground for the kids, so it's a wonderful place. Yeah, it's a wonderful place for the picnic as well, as well as the Wentworth Woodhouse grounds. The Wentworth uh, Garden Centre is also a fantastic place for a picnic. We're just approaching Wentworth Village itself. We're not actually going into Wentworth Village, we're going to like go on the outskirts on the back of it, on a, tra on a little path, which is part of the TPT which is a Trans-Pennine Trail, which is, people that know me, it's quite a pain of my life, to be honest. Every single trail that I go on, end up on the TPT. Okay, it's fine. It's just that it always seems to end up on it. Yeah, we do. Pet hate. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely a pet hate of ours. Um, but, it's not for long and it is a beautiful trail. Yep. It's not actually the TPT itself, I think it's just like a branch to it. Or a, like a path that leads down to the Transpennine Trail. Try not to, it's very, very busy this road. Like I said, we're just coming into Wentworth, we're on the outskirts of the Wentworth village itself. Uh, so soon we will be in Wentworth and then across to the, the old, the new church. New church. The new church, and then we'll show you the old church here at Wentworth. Quite a bit of history about it, to be honest. There we go. Into Wentworth Village. So, uh, so the war memorial is right on the corner of um, Courtworth Lane, Main Street and Hague Lane. Yep, there we go. Irony it is best. There we go. Courtsworth Lane. Main Street goes that direction. And where we're going in a second is up Hague Lane. Which, as you can see, is there. Let's go across to the War Memorial. Let's have a quick look at it. You can see they've still got a lot of poppies and that still around the bottom of it which I find is rather strange to be honest at this time of year um, That loud noise, by the way, was a clapped out um, Corsa. It wasn't a motorbike. 
Yeah. I thought it was a motorbike. Oh, it? It's a clapped out Ford Cortina. Ford uh, Cortina. I'm showing me here. He's there. Ford Cor uh, Vauxhall Corsa. I'll get it right eventually. Just had a young lady stop us in the car. Um, she couldn't find Wentworth Woodhouse. It's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, she says she couldn't find the entrance to it. I mean, I think it's quite big enough to see, Phil. Yeah. But, uh, there you, go. you know, it's easy to miss if you're trying to look hard, aren't you? Sometimes you can't see for lucky, as they say. Right, this is part of the TPT, Trans Pennine Trail, this path. Uh, I don't think this was ever a railway line, although it could have been like a track line, could have been down here for the, you know, when they were doing the, the mining, Yeah. as they were saying, could have been a small track bed from the coal shafts take the carts to where they was going to be transported it could have possibly been one of them this has definitely not been a massive railway line like the main TPT was um, but this is probably a small rail offshoot. line offshoot yeah like a little branch possibly coming from a colony or like the open cast as that woman said to us earlier into Wentworth and possibly beyond Wow, that's loud. We can't go to this place again, unfortunately, as there's a wedding on, as you can tell. Just trying to get away from it for a bit, just to try and explain a bit about the building though, because this is the second Holy Trinity Church here in Wentworth. The other one's a bit further down, which is just now ruins. We'll come to that shortly. This place was built by William the 6th Earl of Rockingham. Uh, it was built in 1872 and was completed in 1877. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's an impressive uh, building. Unfortunately, no, well, no, unfortunately, no. there's a wedding going off at the moment, so we, we can't go uh, on. Uh, it's very impressive. Yeah, we're going to have to shout up because we're not going to hear each other. It, um, it wasn't consecrated till 1877 and the church was built in commemoration of his parents. So, wow. It's a shame we can't go near it. Uh, like I said, there's a wedding going off. Uh, which is a crying shame because I've been here twice and first time schools were coming out which is just next door so I couldn't film it that time and this time there's a wedding um, but you know it is what it is it's a popular church and it's an absolutely stunning stunning church here at Wentworth Beautiful. Let's have a look at the old one. Right, we've just Hi. come out of Wentworth past the old church. And the new one. And the new one. Just coming past Earnshaws, we still will tell you what it used to be. It used to be when we sawmill, and then Earnshaws took it over, and prices went sky high. Mm. True story. Oh dear. <laughs> I've never used it, so I don't know. All I know is that's Earnshaws because it's got a sign up. 
Uh, we're just walking past the Earnshaws anyway, in towards and heading back towards Elsica Park, which is absolutely stunning. Have you ever been, Phil? I don't think I have. I've been to uh, Heritage Centre, but not the park. So, something new. Oh, <laughs> you get <laughs> swings. Hey, hey, it has, hey. Hey, we've got a few swings. We can lay a bat. Sorry, that means playing. Um, on the swings. That'd be fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can tell we're getting to the end of this trail. We've done about eight mile nearly. Of course, sun as well. Done about eight mile. It's been absolutely beautiful. To say it wasn't supposed to be like this today, it's been absolutely fantastic. Bloody lovely. Marvellous. Marvellous. Yes, it has. It's been lovely. The sun's been out. Um, it's just lovely. Yeah. What can you say? But. What do you think to trail? It's a great trail. Absolutely brilliant. There's so much history and scenery. Um, yeah, it's just top class uh, trail. Absolutely. What more can you say? What more can you say? It's absolutely fabulous. Like I said, there's, there's a lot more we could have been to see if we'd have gone off the trail and uh, if we got more time to go off the trail and things, there's a lot more things we could have seen. But we've just showed you the things that's actually on this trail. Uh, like I said earlier, it's the uh, Elsie could have went with circular. It's nearly nine mile thereabouts, give and take a few hundred yards, I think. Uh, but basically, with no more monuments and that to see, Unfortunately, we've done all them. No more lovely churches and ruins of churches to see on, it, on this now. Uh, but these went with par uh, Elsica Park, sorry. That's beautiful in itself, down by the lake in the river. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Elsica Park. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, get yourself to Elsica if you're up these parts, or if you, if you don't live too far away. It's absolutely fantastic and it's beautiful and the heritage and the shops and everything are absolutely amazing. Yep. Um, well worth a visit and it's all free. Don't cost you anything to get in or to park. That's all free. Just and obviously stuff from shops, don't walk out without that. Yeah, yeah, cool. don't walk out at shops without one. And there's a bar. There's also a bar which we may partake in when we get back. Well, we may just Hey? Might, chance it. Might just have to chance it, just for one wee one, when we get back. <laughs> so uh, we'll catch you when we get into Elsica Park. And yeah.